Life is not about usefulness. We value life for its beauty, exuberance, profoundness and intensity. Usefulness is a different aspect of life. Well, this wheel, <laughs> this is an old wagon wheel in Tennessee. This is useful. But the moment you think whether this tree, which is an exuberant life, whether it's useful or not, <laughs> you will refer to the tree as a wood. Unfortunately, a whole lot of people refer to tree as a wood. I must tell you my experience of this way back. Uh, this is about maybe about twelve years ago, twelve, thirteen years ago I must be, I was doing a program in Mysore city, uh, just at the foothills of uh, Chamundi, because this was one of the major public programs that I was doing. All sorts of people, my friends from kindergarten, my teachers from school, college, everywhere, all sorts of people who knew me in business and in education, all of them turned up for this event. At the end of the event, my English teacher, came and hugged me and uh, then she said, uh, now I know why you wouldn't let me teach Frost, Robert Frost. I said, ma'am, why would I not let you teach Robert Frost? I, l I really like Ro Robert Frost, I like his work. I even have a, a original tape in his voice reciting poetry. Then she reminded me, it happened, that till then we were studying largely English poetry, but uh, she was introducing American poetry to us, and then she uh, introduced uh, Robert Frost in glorious terms, and then she started reading his poem. She said, woods are lovely, deep, deep and dark. I said, stop. She said, why? I said, a man who calls a tree a wood, I don't want to listen to him. She tried to explain to me, <laughs> that's not it, this is a wonderful poet. I said, I don't care how wonderful he is, a man who calls tree a wood, I am not going to listen to him. So we must understand this. The moment we make a tree into a wood, ah, it is not far away. Before we start thinking human beings are as pawns to be used for our well-being, this is the ugliest way to exist, not only making human beings into pawns, to make any life, unfortunately, for us to eat, we have to kill something, a plant or an animal or a bird or something. Unfortunately, this is the nature of life. If we know that it's a life, we will do it to the minimum possible extent. But if you think it's just a useful object, you will do it in very gross and blatant ways. That's all that's happening with the world. It's very important to understand and above all, to become sensitive to experience the beauty, the exuberance, the profoundness and the intensity of life. It's only in this there is an ecological solution also for this planet. May you know life for what it is, not for its usefulness. My... <laughs> what? My brain's not working. When I see a camera, my brain doesn't work, I need people. <laughs>